Hello everyone, I'm Jake Neutron, and today I'll be showing you a quick overview of the basic tools of Adobe Animate, with a little help from our pal, ManyQ. Let's get started. The selection tool can be used to simply select and move around objects. The free transform tool gives you the option to rotate and scale objects, along with moving them around. Subselection only works with drawing objects, and highlights where you can edit the points of the shapes. The lasso tool is kind of a more specific way to select. If there are a ton of objects on the stage but you only want to select a few, the lasso tool lets you draw a shape around only those objects and selects them. The 3D transform and rotation tools only work on movie clips. It allows you to move and rotate objects in 3D. The pen tool lets you create shapes and connected lines. Holding down and dragging curves the line you're making. You can adjust the various settings for the lines in the property tab. The line tool works like the pen tool, but it doesn't necessarily connect the lines you make. All the various shape tools create exactly what you think. Shapes! There's a rectangle tool, an oval tool, and for the shapes with more sides, the polystar tool. The primitive versions of these tools turn the shapes made into shape objects instead of drawings. You can adjust the shape options in the properties tab. The text tool is used to create text, of course fonts, size, and add effects to the objects in the Properties tab. The Brush tool lets you paint and fills, which are like malleable vector objects. Best for more freeform drawings. The Pencil tool lets you draw vector lines, which act separately from fills. You can change the thickness and texture of them after being drawn. The Pencil tool has no sensitivity settings though, unlike the Brush tool. The paintbrush tool is like a combination of the brush tool and the pencil tool. It has sensitivity settings and can be as fluid as the brush tool, but at the end of the day, it renders out lines, which can be edited post-drawing. The paint bucket tool fills in closed drawings with a selected color, but it can also be used to change the color. The ink bucket tool does the opposite and actually creates lines around a fill. The eyedropper tool lets you collect a color and then use it. The width tool lets you adjust the thickness of different parts of a line. The erase tool does exactly what it says, erase fills and lines. The bone tool can bind objects and symbols together, kinda like puppets and the skeletons in them. The asset warp tool allows you to put pins in a drawing, and move said pins to morph the object around. The camera tool lets you do camera movements, tilts, zooms, and more without having to tween every single thing on the screen at once. The hand tool lets you move around the canvas just by grabbing and moving the mouse around the screen. The rotation tool lets you tilt the canvas. The zoom tool lets you zoom in closer or farther out on the workspace. I hope to eventually do a more detailed tutorial on Adobe Animate, but I hope you enjoyed this brief overview. I'm Jake Neutron, and you can check me out on Twitter, YouTube, and Patreon.